engineer Muhammad Magdi. Let's talk about welding polarity AC, DC positive, DC negative, electron undercurrent movement, and heat percentage, advantage of AC and DC. Introduction about electrical current. There were alternative current AC changing direction of current with the time and direct current uh, current is constant with time. Okay. Uh, example for DC is a battery when we lighting a lamp in this picture and then when we change the terminal for a lamp it lights. Okay. Let's go to direct current electrode positive reverse polarity and direct current electrode negative straight polarity and the difference between them and AC. And direct current electrode positive current move from positive to the negative, but electrode in opposite sides move from anode from negative and move through this gap to the positive, leaving 30. Uh, of heat, uh, 30 of electron in the work piece and 30 of heat in the work piece and the other 70 of heat at the electrode and 70 of electron at the electrode. But in direct current electrode negative, current move from positive to negative and the electron move from anode from negative to positive crossing this barrier and to concentrate in the workpiece with 70 uh, hundred of electron and 70, 70 hundred of heat but the 30 hundred of heat and electron at the electrode okay direct current electrode negative most used not in small but in detail for good penetration direct current electrode positive uh, give a deep penetration, steady arc and the smooth metal transfer than AC, uh, uniform mold bit size at low ampere, make it use at vertical up and overhead, but we suffer from arc blue when we don't want to suffer from arc blue or we are welding aluminium, we need a cleaning action, we turn into AC, AC uh, have half of heat and electron in the uh, work piece and the half of heat and the electron in the electrode. Uh, this advantage of DC magnetic metal like nickel and the iron in DC, we may suffer from arc blue. Using AC, make uh, arc blue problem solve it. Thank you.